Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles. Last episode I did the the second half of the Eastern Mine. A lot of shit has happened and uh, I decided to focus some items to see if I can get the well, final item for the product like media. And it started raining and I ran into some guy. Into this guy, Graceful Holland. So I will go and lure him and fight him because weak, the unit is not. But don't drop your guard! Now this Nebula. Nebulas are super defensive and are mainly weak against um, Eco attacks. Hmm. Unfortunately for us, we don't have a lot of Eco attacks, so uh, this battle is gonna be taken. So, in this battle, Shada is going to shine. He's gonna be able to do the most amount of damage, and she's also gonna be able to take the most damage. Because she has all these defense defense. That was close. Oh, we should be fine, though. This guy's yeah. way under the like, end of the leaf, so. We're just fine. This should not be an issue. I'm not sure, sure. If another buster is a. This is a decent fight or not. Well, I guess we'll find out. Oof. Trials. That shouldn't matter, though. Charlotte, um, go. go for it! Okay! Okay, don't screw up, Joe. Um, well, I can't really do much. So All right, no I'm going to do a okay. power duck and another buster. I'm not sure if it's easy there. Let's take a look. Almost it does not. Yeah, okay. like I think it's not going to take too long before we get like another one, which is going to be. Uh, but I'm not one of the one of the two. Yes, Jackie! Now we're putting together. So this is what we need to do. Eat this! 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 Eat I don't know. Because I'm usually talking, or you're freaking out during the yeah. monster battle, so yeah. You get another Jaguar Lancer, we already have two of those. You get Empress Greaves, which seems pretty good, and then we get large, large tubular Greaves. Lightning attack and spice attack. Uh, spice? Spice defense. <laughs> huh? Yeah, they have lightning attack and uh, the other thing. I will get the items that I can still see, and then I'll hand over the controller to you. And then you can explore the other side of the um, counting. There you go. Okay. So go back to the place where we end up. Can I do it like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should have a we should have a landmark over there. There you go. That's a trade elevator. Trade road. Boom. 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 Actually, yeah, I just know something. Alright, uh, after you're done exploring the area to the left, after the hill, you actually want to go over to Saddle Marsh. Because when we go, when we enter Saddle Marsh, we run into a... Uh, we can we basically unlock all the quests that I want to do. Okay. I'm not sure if there are any more unique monsters. Let's go take a look at the map. There might be though. So if there are, then we're gonna fight those, of course. Uh, let's go and get rid of this one, let's go and open up this one, and let's see. Um, Academy sticks. What do I have? Unique monsters. Yep, there should be a unique monster. Actually, you're going. Actually, yeah, actually, good one. This goes to South of March. I want you to go there anyway. So. After you're done with that, I want you to come back. Okay. And do this area. Yes. So you're going to stand this way down. Go and check out this area. There's also a unique monster over there. Yep, you can fight, of course. In this petty path. Oh, Misty! I'm never gonna give up. Wait, don't continue to always continue. We just need to enter area, I think, and then the quest. So now I want you to go back, back. You can just yeah, put the arrow points this way. The arrow is like a hole with an arrow on top, which means that you're gonna move locations. Hmm. <coughs> No, no, you're talking about. You don't have to follow the arrow. 
we're gonna decide this. I wanted you to enter Shadow Mark. And that is what you did. And I want you to come and to go and run back. Okay, so then we're gonna do a side quest until the end of fucking time. Yay! The end of time! I don't, I don't think it's it. actually gonna take... <laughs> I actually don't think it's gonna take that long before we... Uh, before we are going to Saturn Mars. A lot of the quests that I've written down of here are actually in Saturn Mars, so... Alright, so there should be a unique monster. Top. But it's gonna take time. Where you going? Smoke is still going away from the place that blew up. I don't think it is. It's happy with music. There's an item that you don't have. Oh. Unbelievable, man. You don't even. Oh, yeah, you need to be nice when collecting items. Because the, items that, the item that we want is only collectible during that. Uh, what are you, idiot? One day you'll get it, right? Maybe they take maybe tomorrow. Maybe not. As long as you can follow my general directions, I'm happy. You're going the wrong way. I was thinking like, hey, maybe I can get the item again. Or what? Yeah, no. You have to reset the game. Right? Continue, watch out for that fire because that's gonna attack you when it sees you. Yeah. Oh wait, there's a B button. Or you know, nah. Leave this party for now, since we're gonna fight a unique monster. But after you're done with this, I want you to switch to the to the dumb band. Not to, to the dumb band. I want you to switch out. Uh, shut up, the dumb band for, for a moment. Things. Hmm. If that guy sees me, you don't have to. You never have to fight. Look to the left. Um, then lock on to, to the right, lock on to those enemies. One of them should be a mini monster. I think it's that one. Yeah, it's the big boy. Yeah, that's the one we need to fight. Go and uh, go get him, beast. Or you can wait, switch to shot after. This is for still using shot. Farther! Or you can use dumb ban if you want, mm. if you don't want shot. Nah, uh, mm. no, I'm used to this party, so. Well, you could just replace, like Ryan, for instance. Ryan's a tank. Dumban is an agility tank, so you can technically replace Ryan. Ryan's a nice guy. It's not about being nice or not, it's about making the party work together. You know? Like building affinity and stuff. What are you doing? Okay. What you said, oh! You don't have. You, you can do whatever the hell you want, really. I just said that you, you could do this. Yeah, just, just fucking do, do whatever the hell you want. Let's do this. Leave this to me. I'm ready. I'm ready. Wow, so the story of the man is heating up. This is our target. Yeah, yeah, you're doing it. Uh, Done that shit. That's awesome. I think we can do it! My rifle's getting hotter! It might actually be that Dumbass is not the kind of tank we can do right now. I will never forget it, Dumbass! I won't lose anyone on the field! Yeah, pull off the gun. This might be an interesting battle. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna go. take the line before they help you. Nice. Get up, though. One heal bullet coming right up. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, chain attack time. Good one. The coins. Start the chain attack. Right. Chain attack. So, um, you know what? It's so cute in the pink one. Rip through the air. Shulk. Okay, my turn! Um, use that one. Stream it! Dumb back! Aha! Now, you cannot choose. Either you're going to continue doing the purple stuff, or you can just pop it. Quite pop it. 
That's a green one, by the way. Green one. No, no, it's just... No, green, green one. The green, green is the third one. Can you not see the green in between all these ones? No. I don't know. It's gonna be horrible. By my side. No, I think I don't want to constantly scream like use that art because I'm gonna go insane. <laughs> that really sucks though because usually when I move around the art, I look at. I look at the any time, any place. Now. We can definitely yeah. Now. Equal Help, help. Oh, no. The reason why it's lowered is because um, so My wife is getting hot. Uh, 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 now! Oh, it's just a matter of time now! Gun ban might be dead. Now! The reason why is because gun ban is not as leveled up as we are. It's one level that will be lower, so which is enough to be for you. Dunban. Okay, you save Dunban. Now I use the big deal, Dunban. Now. Okay. You need to pull off. Yeah, sorry, I didn't expect you to pull off. Now you're gonna have to pull off in a really slow way. There we go. Yeah, we did it. Let's keep on going like this, guys. Somehow you managed to surprise me and stay alive <laughs> at the at these battles. What do you say? Uh, Empress armor, which you've already got all the pieces from. Don't really care too much about that. Just heavy armor also. Okay, good. All right, so there you go. That's the unique monster out of the way. Um, ooh, 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 stuff. Items, of course. Go and get uh, crystals. Free stuff, stuff, stuff. What the hell are you doing? Dunban is doing interesting things. So, I want to... You want me? Because we cannot continue on this point. I, wa I want you to switch Dunban in front. Or, or maybe not. Uh, I want you to just keep Dunban in the party. How about you replace Shulk with Brian? Shulk is good. But Dunban, like you said before, Dunban is a... Mix between Shulk and Ryan, so you can switch between those two. But Ryan, in the way that you play, Ryan is a really has a really important role of just getting the aggro and being the tank. So that way you only have to focus on one character mainly. No. Yeah. Uh, go back to Colony Bloody Nine. Oh. We are gonna do more questing in Colony Nine. These quests I have not done this quest because dumb did it to, to do a comment on them. Um, I want you to go back to, over to Giorgio, Giorgio Armani. Remember where he is? Oh yeah, I think I do it. So here? Yep, and it's during the day. Oh, it's night. night. It's bloody night. So then you're turning today. No, I don't. Hmm, um, you can also wait for day if you want to. And I'll just go and start up my crazy Mario ROM hack and have some fun playing that again. Ha! <laughs> fun. As if it was fun. Well, this is kind of fun, but also pretty dang insanely hard. So. Well, yeah, I forgot to mention this, but uh, yeah, no face cam, because face cam is full. Alright, Jojo. Hey. 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 I hate having to say this, but. I hate having to say this, but I don't want to do voice acting. <laughs> Since I started spending more time with Paola, my courage got worse. People keep saying it's not how it used to be. They can't finish it. My home life is, is more fulfilled, but work's gone to the dogs. It's safe to say I've hit a slump. How are you? The problem is you. Somewhere on her. On the other side of the can... Plaza, it's seriously life and death, mate. You know my daughter is the most important thing in the world to me. But I can't give her nice things if I'm not making any money. I'll be honest, I, I'll be honest, I have another favor to ask you. Could you go and find me five lots of piranha, piranha eggs row? It'll go great in the curry. It's only a, it's only a, a stop gap, but it'll uh, it'll do until I'm back in the curry mode. I must admit, I have some doubts about this plan. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know, it's an idea. 
I think it'll stop my customers uh, from losing all their faith in me. I've got to keep up appearances. For the sake of your family. Hmm. Alright, you have to collect the Piranax holes from Piranaxes on Bagana's legs. You can either farm them or you can trade them. Please, I need that Piranax rope. Do it for Paula, not for me. Wait, did I say that once already? <laughs> You can count us, we'll get it done. Don't forget of me, Shala! Then let's get sorted, let's get sorted too, Ken. Of course. I know you'll do it, or die trying. Haha, <laughs> die right. <laughs> um, take a look at the quest log and see how many we have, if we even have any. Out of luck, Giorgio. Um, I don't think we have anything. Um, you can choose. Either you're gonna farm fish, or we can overtrade with that with the ruble. What's the easiest? I think overtrading would be easier. Because I don't even know where the fish are that we need to kill. So. Okay, who do we? Go back over to Traveler's Rest. Remember what that is? It's on the next floor. You're right yeah. now, you're over the lower level, so. You have to go back to those two Nobom that were always losing each other and stuff. Ah, yeah. And the one guy is called Grugu, and that's the guy that you have to trade with. Grugu. Gerugu. 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 It's Gerudu. <laughs> it's Gerudu. Oi, guys. Gerudu. It's Gerudu. Yeah, I know, yeah. I was, I was thinking, like, is he trying to make this joke or not? <laughs> What's it again? Uh, Panabon. Can't wait until I can start anything like that. I'm interested in the second game, too. In the what? In the second game. Oh, you mean the second game? Yeah, the second From Xenobank Chronicles? No, from Wild. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, there's an item to the right. Yeah, I'm also interested, but I'm not trying to hype myself too much, because they've only given like a little teaser thing, and I know Zelda games take a long time, so I'm just gonna let them do their thing and make it another amazing game. And that's how we do it. Rugo has lit up on a toe. <coughs> Good trade. Redu. Great time. Let's see, what do you owe, my friend? Please see fur. Uh, first thing plus happy rabbits. <laughs> Get the first first item. Uh -huh. Now go over to your items or your collectibles and then sort them by number. And let's go and give him a hot tail roll. Oh ho! Oh ho! Ho ho! That is the overtrade stuff. <laughs> this name I think it's just like oh. And now we have to do that. Five pass. Well then, um, when you get the chance, you know what, now that we're here, anyway, go back to the resistance camp, not, not the resistance camp, fuck, the refugee camp, please, after you're done mining, oh yeah, speaking of crystals, we should probably make some after this episode. Yeah, quite good ones. Don't we? We have level 2 ones right now, man. Let's go. Oh, wait, don't. Don't, don't do it. No, it's not gonna work. Don't do it. Don't do it. South of the West Point Junction, look for the race map on the left side of the more. That dead end at the east side of the Swiss Bath. Near the containers at the north of the main entrance, the center of the farm, the north farm. South side of the top of the Just go around the container. So as you can see, 
To get this item, the serious ammo, you need like three stars of affinity with colony six. And you need these NPCs to be in colony six instead of in the refugee camp. It's the reason why, because you could overtrade with Nikita. We know this NPC. Which he needs to be in colony six, which <laughs> colony six uh, does not exist. Not yet. No, not yet. Not anymore. <laughs> well, not anymore and not yet. Sorry. Hey. Hey. Oi, you got. <laughs> Oi. No. Oh, you got the stuff I asked for. It smells really tasty. Now, all I need is. How about the uh, pieces of juicy broth? We have those. It'll make my curry that much better. You don't mind, right? Curry. Broccoli. Hey. Oh, you got the stuff I asked for. It smells really tasty. Now, all I need is. You. <laughs> Actually, no, this is perfect. Now there, won't, now there won't be anyone saying my curry is off. Good, it was our pleasure. Indeed, the far too will be glad uh, when he hears about your efforts. You're right. He raised me like a daughter. I should send him some news. I find it really funny their sayings. Now all I have to do is get myself back into expert cooking mode. <laughs> you better my curry is the more nine clothes I can buy for Paula. Nice. <laughs> nice, I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> nice. Call me nine clothes. So it's time to get my groove back. Thanks for your help, guys. I find it kind of funny that he says, like, hey, Atharon would be proud about you. I'll... And it's just like, oh, I might want to have sent news to Atharon. Well, Atharon is actually with us at a party right now. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, so that's kind of funny. Alright, next one. Uh, you have to go back to Kenny Rowan. Remember who Kenny Rowan is? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes! Yes! It is... This... This way. Hey! 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 So we know why the lamp went out, now for the, now for the real issue. Should we fix it or not? Remember the lamp stuff? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If we fix it, all will find comfort in its glow will be pleased. Although, on the other hand, the light is really just a light. An accidental, albeit captivating, destruction on the road to healing. I think sentiment and emotion are stopping them moving on. That's why I'm entrusting this shinshu to fix the lamp to you. I'm here to listen. That's not the right moment to do this. Yeah, I'm a good listener and all. Only when it falls through. <laughs> if you do nothing, then the situation stays the same. Okay. The people will be forced to move on and overcome their pain. But if you fix the lamp, things will go back to how they were before. They will be distracted from their pain, for now, but not forever. The choice is yours, friends. Hmm. That's a tough one. Do we, ha do we have the right to decide such a thing? Doing nothing is also an option. So the decision really comes down to whether you fix it or not. Best to make a firm decision now, once and for all. And then everyone can get on with their li uh, with their with their living arrangement. Oh, with their new lives. Living with their new lives. Oh, yes. All right. Mend the lamp or throw the yeast cylinder into the lake. So, um, I actually want you to throw the ether cylinder into the lake. I don't know why, but I think you get a better reward. Here, take this ether cylinder. If you want to do nothing, then throw the cylinder off the bridge. Hmm. Okay. If you want to fix it, go uh, go to see Arnold and ask him how to do it. Everything clear? So um, when you throw, you can you can count us. We'll get it done. So when you throw the um, the Easter cylinder into the water, I'm pretty dang sure that because if you repair it, then you're going to keep like the trust stuff going. Wait, don't. Um, what are you doing? You're going the wrong way. It's garbage. On the other side. On the other side. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think if you throw the cylinder into the water, you're basically gonna be like, Hey, this is not real. And I, I personally find it better to just right now be, make like a hard decision. To just let the people overcome their pain. Instead of, instead of really like, um, how do you say it? Don't think that it's false issue. Kind of. And also just extending the pain, really. Because... 
It could be like after a while you'd feel like comfortable again. And then you know, notice that this thing wasn't real and all that jazz. And then you're gonna go back down into the depths, you know what I mean? Well, right now they, everybody is in the dumps and they can stay in the dumps, but then they will get out of it and don't go back to it, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So, yeah Does it have an effect on our quests or something like that? Um, I don't remember. I, I, I want to follow my guide. Okay. That's something that I didn't do, which I find people uh, people deal with sadness in a different way. Um, I'll throw away the easy cylinder. If, 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 forgive me. So, um, I should have done this while I was making a guide. There are a couple of choices that you can make, which didn't involve, involve getting other quests, like locking out of other quests. But I just decided to eventually just choose the best choice when it comes to rewards. Really. Okay. Either the best choice when it comes to rewards or with affinity between party members. Or with, I'm sorry, with affinity between people and the affinity chart. You know I mean? Like sometimes we choose a certain way that when the quest ends, like the relationship between two people will be horrifyingly bad. Or they can be like really good if you choose the other option. So. Dr. Yep. What is it? So you threw it away. You've not made the wrong decision. And now people won't be gathering. They're uh, there to admit it night after night. Or admire it, not after night. But I'll be looking to the future instead of some lamp in the water. There you go. Good, it was a pleasure. Right, it was well worth the effort. Effort. That, that, that lamp provided people with brief comfort, but nothing more. There was no right answer, but I but I would call this a fine outcome. There, there you go. Yeah. And we get the iron armor. Good. Good. Good, good. You learned the art. Good. You learned uh, oh. the banana art. Oh. Go to the arts and then go to Dunban. Dunban, the list. He learns Serene Hearts, a peaceful and focused aura that increases accuracy and evasion. Hmm. I think, I think, I think. <laughs> you think? I'm not sure if how blind, how useful blinding blossoms it actually is. Wait. Um, this one is. I know how it works. Take a look at the arts for a second. Um, green arrows focus. Get rid of this one. This one is the best. Serene Heart is probably one of my favorite arrows for Dunban. Because of fact, increased accuracy and evasion, which means that fighting more difficult enemies, if you like activates this art, you would yeah. be able to fight or like, hit hit some of the like almost impossible to hit enemies later on in the game. Upgraded? Uh, not yet. I, st I still have to figure out which parts I really want to upgrade. Now, we can oh. actually talk, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the quest with... Um, yeah, wow, well, you and Ryan are the bestest of friends, so we needed to make Ryan and Shulk better, better friends for this quest. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we can continue it a little bit. I've changed my mind about Ryan. I can see he's a nice boy, too. But now you've got a proof to Paula about your friendship. And she won't believe you unless you really are the bestest friends. So if you go to Paula right now, don't, 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 don't. Jesus. I was wondering. Yeah. Paula is not in this district. Yeah, she's yeah. in the commercial district. So for the next part of this quest, we needed Shulk and Ryan to be in purple affinity, which they sure as hell are. He's like the commercial district. The commercial district. Go to the gem man stuff. Gem man. Gem man stuff. Go to the right, not the left. Oh. Remember this kid? She was really annoying to catch. Yeah. I think you have to turn back the time maybe though, because I think it's a little bit too late. Since the other kids were already running home, in the, in the, on the other, on the residential district, I'm pretty sure the Paul is also ran home. Turn to 12 o'clock, I think you should, or maybe 10 o'clock. Nah, just turn to 12. 12 seems to stick in my mind as being the right hour to find her. And there you go! Marie wants me to do what? Take a look at the two boys? Why would you ask that? Oh, I get it. Check to see how good their friendship is. Hey, it's totally improved. Chuck and Reinhardt are, are looking much more like uh, real best friends now. I'm so jealous. I wish me and Marie were like that. But I guess boys are different. Can girls be best friends like that? I bet they can't, you know? If you think otherwise, prove it. So there you go. So uh, now we need two female partners, uh, party members to... Have purple affinity, and that ain't gonna happen for a while. 
Alright, I want you to go and meet Sesame. Who? Sesame. Open up your map. Southeast of the commercial district. South east. Commercial dots. I actually, you know, I think the place where. Wait. Um, in the alley southeast. I really hope I've written this right. I think she. I think they might actually actually be on the place where Paul is. So turn into night. I think they might be over there. <laughs> All right. Yep. Quest appearing. That is good. Just a random dude. All right. Talk to Sesame. Betty's is the one to go for. She has a big butt. What's with the face? You want to join us? Um, what cult is this? What cult is this? Come on, we're short of members anyhow. You came because you heard about my plan, right? Plan? I'm here to listen. So we intend to help Charla. Charla. Don't you, dumb man? Let's hear what they have to say. Well, you'll know soon enough. Better late than never, eh? I hope you're not expecting us to take part in some fiendish scheme. Everyone has their own idea of what justice is. Maybe you don't like mine, but, uh, but is that really my problem? Anyway, getting back to the point. Here's your first job. Collect two croaking brog bags from Singing Brogs in Tefra Cave. Go to Tefra Cave and collect some cro croaking brog, ba brog bags for me. You're one of us now. Don't let me down. Um, you can count us. We'll get it done. <laughs> when did this get decided? <laughs> I didn't have a part in this. <laughs> Alright, so um, can we get this stuff? Trade with Nick in the northern portion of the military district. Let's go and trade this stuff because those are really weak enemies. And I don't care what it is. <laughs> Alright, military district. Um, he should be here during the night somewhere. In the northern portion of the military district, behind the larger boxes and the wall of the platform. Look for blue dots on your map. <laughs> To your right. In between the boxes. This might be Nick. Nice, you perfect. Go. You would like to trade, you see. <laughs> we need those things. We need one more of those. Uh, uh go on trade uh, like sort of numbers. And give him an arachno ear. <laughs> One of the many. There you go. I look forward to seeing you again. And now let's go back to uh, Sesame. Let's go back to Sesame Sesame Street. Oh. Ah. Wrong, wrong, wrong. What do you mean? Remember where it was? Oh, oh. No, no. Is this it? No. It's this way. Mm -hmm. Think about the little kid running away. The back alley, to your right. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. All right, Sesame. All right. Did you get them all? Good work, man. Well, not a man, but okay. Good learning to work fast. Now you need to take these to the residential district and see Betty. Betty. Betty's normally normally around during the day. Go and have a chat with her. Don't let me down. Okay, go over to the residential district, turn in today, and uh, talk to Betty. Uh, How does the song even go, man? Oh, Black Betty, there we go. Bam a lamb. Oh, Black Betty, bam a lamb. Black Betty had a job, bam a lamb, did anything going blind, bam a lamb. We run for a mile, bam a lamb. And the rest I don't know, Whoa, Bam Black Betty. Whoa, Black Betty, Bam Lam, the Whoa, Black Betty, Bam Lam. That's a good song. Yeah. Instantly makes me think of Rayman Legends every single time. Where is Betty even? Uh, she's at Tranquil Square. Oh yeah, there she is. <laughs> you found her, nice. You found her! Oh, you need to see me? Yes. I see, you're one of his gang. Oh god. Forgive me, it's just that you don't look the type. Here's what I promised him. 
whatever you do, don't look what it's uh, don't look at what's inside. Take it back to Sesame. After you're done with this, no, 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 not this quest, but the next quest after this, um, we are gonna do gem crafting. Or maybe not. Yeah, we might want to do gem crafting after that, because. Um, after we're done with these quests, we're gonna go to Sato Marsh, and I want to be a little bit prepared for Sato Marsh. It's gonna be one unique monster, and I'm actually very interested to see if you can somehow beat it. <laughs> because to this day, I have not been able to beat that unique monster at this level, in any case. All right. Okay. All right. So we spoke to her, then hand it over. Come on, I know she gave you. I actually gave you something. Yep, no doubt about it. This is the real thing. Good work. Good. It was a pleasure. <laughs> Yeah. Why well, we're helping make things better a bit at a time. I couldn't agree more, right? Now I think uh, I think right, right, you're actually uh, never mind. Did you say something? Actually, nah, forget I asked. That's all for now. I should have uh, I should have another job for you later. And no complaints, even if it's just another courier job. There you go. And we get a critical up to you. Hmm. Alright, let's talk to him again. Second quest for him. <laughs> My vote goes to George, Giorgio. He's famous, right? The plan's finally coming together. Not time to go now. Let's talk to Sesame. Alright. Oh, there you are. Just in the nick of time. Nick of time. Got any idea what my plan is about yet? No? I'm here to listen. You still having cotton down? Come on, it's so obvious. Anyway, you're one of us. No backing out now. I want you to stop whatever it is you're doing, Sesame. I know you're up to no good. That's for me to decide, tight, not you. Maybe I'm right, right, maybe I'm wrong, but I have to see it through. And it's too late to drop it now. Right then, here's your next job. It's sort of like your last job. Nah, it's exactly like it. Ha ha ha! What? Except. If you go to Cliff Lake, you'll find tons of colony crabbles there. Gather up some iron crabble shells from them. Oh yeah, now that I think about it, uh, they only come out at night. But remember, you're one, of, you're one of us. We know you can get this done. You can count us, we'll get it done. Don't forget about me, Charlotte, let us get this all together. <laughs> I'm gonna stop reading like the really long ones. Except that they are new, of course. Yeah. Otherwise you can just skip them. We actually have these, that's amazing. I thought we have to go with them. Right. You got them? Like clockwork as usual, you're an asset to my team. According to the list, the next job is... Going and having a chat with our artist friend, Kenny Rowan. Ah, I don't know. <laughs> of course you know, guy. He should have something to give you. The only thing is, he has this tendency to move around a lot. You might need to hunt him down. Are you kidding me? He's easy to find. He's just in Triangle Square during the day. During 10 o'clock, to be exact, really. Oh, wait. Because I think if you change the time a little bit more, it's gonna get. Wait, fun. doesn't it? You need to go to the residential district, find Kenny Rowan, and give him this thing. Oh, yeah, right, that, that guy. I was thinking the guy from the refugee camp. I'm actually quite surprised that you remember. Yeah, the thing is, Kenny Rowan looks a lot like that guy from the resistance camp. Yeah, and he's also an artist. Or refugee. Oh, yeah, that's right. Are all artists like this? <laughs> I'm actually quite surprised but if they would be. That would be quite awesome. <laughs> the game developers that the game developers are just like put in a generic artist guy. <laughs> Your system is go between. Make sure you get this to him. Don't go looking inside. That man does irritate me a little, forcing this difficult task on me. Just tell, tell him not to mess it up, to mess up, and don't forget, don't mention my name. All right, go back to stupid sesame. <laughs> Yeah, it's just kind of annoying. What the the hell is this guy even up to? I mean, well, you won't, you won't find out until later. Because we're gonna do this quest. After this, it's gonna be another quest, but we need another party member to react to it. So you won't know until then. Yeah, gotta keep the suspense, you know, like One Piece. Dra just drag out the suspense <laughs> until you go insane, and then you have a super satisfying moment. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a true story, bro. Alright, <laughs> sit here. Alright. Alright. I got the ooh, package of him. Extra diary one. Good, it was our pleasure. Yes, mission complete. He didn't mention anything else, did he? Actually, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about him. The last step is coming up. I'm sure I can pull it off. Not today! <laughs> Let's get the hell out. Okay, straight next to the gem. That's really good. Uh, go over to the uh, gem man stall. This is gonna make him sell some gems. And when we are done with the gems, we will continue with the story ish. Well, actually, we will continue with the story because we're gonna go to the next, the next area and do quests over there. Give me the controller so that I can make gems. A lot of bloody good gems! Okay, while you are doing that, I'm gonna remove my lenses because I start Oh yeah, you actually have your lens and I can forget that that's actually a thing. Oh, Right, <laughs> There you go, getting crafty, 500 experience for just crafting a couple of gems. <laughs> Look at me running. <laughs> Got a lot of power walk. Okay, go over to Sator Marsh. Sator Marsh. I oh, want yeah. you. Wait, turn it to day first. You know what? Uh, go and open the clock. And turn it to. Um, continue spinning wheel. Turn it to maybe 18 o'clock. No, turn to 16 o'clock then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now go over to Sato Marsh. Why? You will literally see. Why? I want you to see this and then we're gonna end up the episode and um, make one more, I think, and then start running. Yeah. Why? Because it's. Well, I think we should be able to push on one more episode and then it's gonna be like around 11 o'clock and then we can. Go and run Just it then. Go. Yep. Go, go forwards. Don't know why March you into the thing. You need to make it that time of day. Okay. Let's see. Welcome to Saddle Marsh. Oh. A big ass swamp at the rear end of the Bible. <laughs> Never seen anywhere like this. You see, 
This is why I've been saying you need to get out of the lab every now and then. I love that. We're aiming to get inside the Bionis. We can get to the upper regions from there. Wow. I've never thought about going inside the Bionis. The closer we get to the top, the more monster trouble we're gonna run into. The only things I venture this far in are the Nopon merchants and curious types like me. You really know all the fun spots, eh, Dixon? <laughs> you want to get to the top? Then this is the only way. We'll push on, no matter what. That's the spirit, Shulk. Right, continue going. Get the atom. Thank you. Humming cabbage. Yep, humming cabbage. Imagine having like a cabbage. Yeah, in a, imagine having a freaking cabbage in your fridge and it's got like. Uh, and then when you go to eat it, you get okay. freaking wrecked. Do I fight? I don't know, you can choose. Do you want to fight? Do you want to run? Do you want to walk? Is running at me? Yep, now we're good. Yep, good. good. good fight. You're using the killer trio right now. You're not playing in Charlotte, but you might play. Yeah, got punched at that. I will show off you. I will show you off. Not bad. Not bad at all. Continue going. Keep the camera a little bit panned upwards instead of downwards. Like this or? Higher, higher, higher. Higher, no higher. Like the other way around. Stay. How about this? Then the camera goes low. How about fuck off? What? That's high. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, but I. You know what I mean, man. I want you to take a look at this guy a little bit more. See if I'm getting big guys. These guys want to attack you. Those guys will. Yep, so you just don't get close to him. You run past the arrow. So, somehow. Um, now, uh, yeah. Are you noticing something? Yes. Mm -hmm. Continue going. What is this? Oh, oh, the trees. Continue going. Oh, the tree is getting attacked by one of these guys. Looks like we managed to survive. Piece of cake! Man, what a bunch of jokers. Don't you? Right now, uh, listen to the music when it changes to night. I'm sure when I think it should be about changing to night. Night time. Are you kidding me? Thing. Kill that thing because it needs to fucking die. It you are going to die. You are going to die. Run, 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 run. Fucking run, run. I swear to God, run. Thank you, story cutscene. Those enemies were red, and I know when it gets dark, those enemies appear in the level like 70 or 80. Everyone, look! Yeah. It's a group of Nopon! Ah, some Nopon merchants. What do you think they're up to? They must be here for a reason. Let's go and ask them. Good idea. So yeah, I wanted you to see the the changing from the, the when it's day it's really boring and it's just a swamp. When it turns to night, night it turns into this beautiful place with beautiful music and beautiful stuff. Yeah. Don't talk to them, please. 
I want you to um, end up the episode over here. Um, off screen, I'm going to do equip and stuff at that specific shop over there. And then next episode, we will return and I will start, start doing Set on Marsh. Okay. I hope, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye! Bye!